it's hard to think this is gonna it's hard to think that this is gonna be over but we're gonna, we're gonna have a hell of a time but we're gonna have a hell of a time while we're still out here and we're gonna prioritize this lifestyle I'm gonna live life to the fullest it's uh it's crazy to me I'm sitting here at this pond and uh it's just just the hot you have it's see all these squirrels out here running around birds chirping dragonflies all over the place the wildlife's out and it's it's quite amazing wild animals being wild animals meanwhile humans have built a society may live their lives around that um, and when somebody goes and lives that nomadic lifestyle they're looked at differently uh, I'm not saying by everybody but I feel like general society would probably look at that person and say he's got no ambition. Uh, doesn't want to work. Doesn't want to do things our way. Um, and it's it's totally false. And and uh, I feel like society might also label it as a midlife crisis. And to me, it's just waking up and realizing. Animals are out here being animals. Why can't humans be humans? Fucking society, you know. You gotta work nine to five for fucking 65 years. Retire. And sit around because you can't do anything. It's ass backwards. It's it's really ass backwards. But yeah, I'm gonna go to Maine. I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Filming you. We followed you like for 30 seconds before you looked at me. Yeah, I'm on the phone. (laughs) (laughs) You guys just yell over. Bye.
snow and a fire December endings and since you sent me things I just feel further north this year took That I have so tonight, let's stay inside. I'll be the husband with a book for a bride. Tonight, let's stay inside. I could play guitar I got so many songs That you never heard And they weren't about you And I won't change a word Just because you're gone Me and Ryan, you know, we don't want to know what the weather is. The weather's going to be what it is. Some people we've been around checking the forecast like everyone always does. And, uh, of course, sitting there, they're all talking about the damn forecast. You're getting fucking annoyed. And everyone, they got to gripe about the weather because the weather forecast. These fucking hikers are, like, just living by the, the fucking forecast. Said it a million times and I'll say it again. Hiking out this morning and I get on top of the fucking mountain. Like I've said before, man, I just, I really don't care to meet anyone new. You know, you think on this stuff. And 
Now, I might be full of shit, but I, I reflect on it, right? I feel that I have a bigger appreciation than most being out here. Now, I'm not saying I have a bigger appreciation than everybody. A lot of people are super appreciative to be out here. And I am totally just blown away by this every single day because I hear it every single day. And I've talked about it so many countless times. And that is the people, which is everyone, who are out here, they live, breathe, make all of their decisions based on what the weather forecast is. Every single day they do it. It's mind blowing to me. So we got a guy, guy rolling with us. Love him to death. He's an awesome dude. He cares about the weather. That's cool, man. So I hear about it. So he always calls a shot and uh, then the fucking forecast is wrong every fucking time, right? Once in a while it is right, you know, but going through uh, a lot of people's minds and like I've seen this on Instagram too, people saying how this has been a tough section. Uh, they've had to wait out rain in a shelter or in town and they hate that. And I can't believe that people are waiting out rain. Why would you wait out rain? You're on the AT, you're hiking the fucking AT. That's part of the AT. You just keep hiking. Like it just fucking baffles me. I'm just a fucking crotchety old trunkle, man. I just fucking... The, the name fits so well. Because I'm just always... Just... Hmm. You know? Right? But I'm climbing this fucking mountain. I already don't care if meet anyone new. And there's this fucking guy standing up there, right? I pass him. I got my earbuds in. He's really looking at me. But I'm not going to take my earbuds out. Because I pass a billion people every day. I'm not going to fucking have the small talk conversations. And I pass him and he's just really staring me down. As soon as I pass him, he starts going. And he's faster than me. That already trips one of my triggers. Because the fucking guy, A, didn't give me any space. If somebody passes me and I'm sitting up there for a break, I'm going to wait five minutes so they can get a little ground. So he doesn't do that. He takes off immediately and then now I got to fucking pull over and let him by. He comes up and he gets to pass me. And I got my earbuds in yet. I wasn't going to take him out. I just saw him back there and I pull over. And, and then he stops and he looks at me. He really wants to say something to me. Just really, really wants to say something to me. So I take my earbuds out. I'm already fucking pissed off. And he says, Yeah, I'm trying to make as many miles as I can. I just checked the forecast up there. We're going to get two and a half inches of rain. And I cut him off and I say, I don't give a shit about the fucking weather. And he's like, Oh, I know you don't. And I'm like, Dude, I'm not going to go fucking hide every time it fucking rains. I hate, I absolutely hate how people live and breathe by the forecast out here because they sit there and they check the forecast and they say hey eight o'clock we got a 70 percent chance fuck we better not leave yet eight o'clock comes around it sprinkles for five fucking minutes and then it's done and it doesn't click with them that the forecast is never right and they keep checking it and they keep making every single move on that fucking forecast. But hey, you know, it pisses me off. Hike your own hike, right? Whatever. Oh, golly, jeez, my old shoelace is untied. Better check the old weather, see if I can, uh, if I should tie it up here. Oh yeah, we're good. I got some time to do that. It ain't gonna rain for another two hours. Uh, yeah. Oh gosh, gosh, that's a steep one. Better check the weather and see if it's gonna rain. If it's gonna start raining and I don't have enough time to get down that thing, she's gonna be slick. Oh, it ain't looking good. Looks like I'm gonna have to set camp up right down here. She's gonna rain about 10 minutes. I don't think I can get down that 10 minutes. Oh yeah, this camp for tonight. I'll tackle that night in the morning when it's not raining. Ugh. Yeah. Oh gosh darn it, sure is muddy down there. I reckon if the forecast ain't gonna rain, it might dry up by tomorrow. I better check that. I can just stay put. I don't have to cross through that there mud. 
Oh gosh, not looking good. It's gonna rain all night. Looks like I'm gonna be here a while. Oh, geez Louise, I just fell down in the pit of my goddamn chest. I'm bleeding out over here. I better check the forecast, make sure I get rain down. Oh gosh darn, I gotta poop. Better check the forecast, see if I need wipe. Oh yeah, she gonna rain about 30 minutes. Looks like I ain't gotta wipe my ass. Oh, I better get going to that shelter about 10 miles away. I got a lot of ground to cover before it gets rainy. I hope I make it. Oh, I got started. I'm sweating and making like a toasted cheeseburger. My clothes are soaked through with sweat. I'm just so wet. I better check the old forecast, make sure it ain't gonna rain on me. I don't wanna get wet. Oh gosh, my gosh. It's gonna rain in about two hours. I better get booking. I got some miles to make up. Oh, holy cow, McGow. That's a pretty lake. I sure would like to jump on in or get all cleaned up. I'm pretty smelly though. I better check the old forecast, see when this rain gonna go ahead and clear up. I don't want to get too wet when I jump in there. Oh gosh, gosh, I got a good hour waiting. Oh, you saw I'm just gonna have to be stanky. Hello to the morning. Woke up as you left the room Pillow still warm Scent like meadow grass Oh my goodness, a beautiful lake! Hey, you wanna camp here? Cough up your lunch money, kid, huh? Fucking five bucks to camp here. Ten bucks if you ain't a fucking through hiker. Every last one of them. Every last one of them motherfucking beautiful spots. Plop down a shelter and start charging for it. Fuck you, AMC. Living on the waterfront, witnessing the gameless hunt. Mermaids don't kill, that's the way they sing so fine. Now your lips are on the line, now there is a broken. Now the big word around camp, last night, we got a tropical storm coming in. Ooh, like yeah, we got a tro tropical storm, we're gonna get wet, I don't want that. And we had a fucking full house at this fucking shelter last night and everybody's, well, I think I'll just do six miles to the next fucking shelter because I don't want to get wet. And that fucking shit's supposed to hit at one o'clock, so we'll see how that fucking forecast turns out. Fucking one o'clock, I should have woken up at three in the morning so I could start hiking, so I could have put my fucking 14 miles in and not get wet. God damn, I don't want to get wet. Oh no, I'm gonna get wet. The fucking trail's gonna be all wet. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Fucking, I'm gonna have to walk at water. My shoes are gonna be all wet. I'm gonna be, I'm just gonna be all, all cold and wet. I don't want that. Not on the AT, not, a, not 145 days into the AT. I don't wanna get wet. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm going to that shelter. I'm gonna hide. Ooh, I'm gonna be nice and toasty and dry. And I'm gonna laugh at all you guys that are actually hiking through it. Cause I got there after six miles and I got the shelter space that you didn't. Two o'clock. No rain yet. Where are you at, Tropical Storm? You were supposed to start at one. I woke up extra early. Extra, extra early. So I could get to camp and not get wet. You gotta sit there, forecast. 
tell me you weren't right and I woke up for nothing? Worst part about getting rid of your bug net in your tent. You know, the bugs can get in, right? But that ain't the problem. It's the motherfucking slugs. Goddamn slugs, man. They come in in the middle of the night and they move on in. There's like ten of them every single fucking morning everywhere. Look at this. Yeah, got myself some slug goo in my hat now. Yesterday was on my trekking pole. I had to go clean my trekking pole strap out because there's slug goo. Look at these fuckers. Fucking slugs. They seem to follow through on everything you yearn for. Steps so fair. So much. Running in the hand over. It's always the chance of coming up on a dead road. That's what happened. I come up on a dead road. I got two cars passing me. In a half hour, I was sitting there. No reception. Thankfully, these kind people pick me up. They're taking me into town right now. Got one package of ramen, three Nature Valley bars, and three things of oatmeal. That's all I got for food right now. Thankfully, we got the hitch. <laughs> Thank you.